I left my boat keys back in the apartment at the marina. I was gonna catch a cab back, but Anna's like, I'll just take the scooter. All the way to the boatyard. I didn't realize he forgot his boat key. Lucky taxis are cheap here. Oh my God, he's got a scooter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you we go. should Thank just you. do a drive-by. <laughs> It is crazy. All right, mom, I'm back. I made it all safe. Let's get back to boat works again. So you guys are gonna laugh. I put this back on. I put the rope cutter the wrong way. So I've just had to pull it apart and put it back together again. So it's safe to say I know exactly what I'm doing now. This is gonna be a good sound. Oh no, you one of the cool kids. You haven't got your hat on today. Yeah, I got sunstroke yesterday, I think. This is a hard day to work. Oh, there's a camera in there, I had no idea. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't set it up. <laughs> So Steve and Tracy are right next door. Our bath is on the wall here, and their bath is on the wall here. <laughs> I'm just sitting there in the bath, just like relaxing, getting all this like paint and stuff off me. And I can hear like, you know when your foot rubs in the bath, and like, <laughs> and the water's going and that. And I'm like, oh, Steve's in the bath. I didn't want to bang on the wall, because so I thought it would be creepy. So I, I took a photo of the bath wall, <laughs> where he is. And it was just like, hello. Anyway, he didn't get it. Anyway, last night, again, <laughs> it's like nine o'clock at night sitting in the bath just like relaxing I can hear his bath going and I'm like oh maybe Steve's in the bath again not knowing that I'm in the bath again so I sent him this photo <laughs> wait you're so fast. so I sent him this photo I'm sitting there like against the wall and about 15 seconds later I just hear him piss himself laughing <laughs> and then we're like bang on the wall like talking to each other through the wall <laughs> Oh, that's my life. Anna said he'll come pick me up today. He's been amazing. And now uh, it's about six o'clock in the morning. <laughs> he's, he's rolled up. Good morning. <laughs> so I'm going to hold the camera and film this. It's going to be great. I've kind of done the back. I've only done a cut, so they still need to put the sealant over it. I'll start the front here. The problem we're having is Ramadan, so no one's working. We didn't really think take that into consideration. It's just getting people to do work on your boats is difficult at the moment. And it's just struggling to find people to come in to work. Anyway, now it's the end of Ramadan today. They got like a two day holiday at the end of Ramadan. So I don't think they're working here for the next two days. They got one guy here, Michelle, who's a machine. He's been here like day and night working and he's here today working again. <laughs> you know what, first I'm gonna climb up this thing here and take a photo. Oh shit. I don't know if I should actually. <laughs> you know what, maybe I won't. Ah, oh, stuff it, I'll do it anyway. Sunday at the Beneteau and Steve's. Steve's and Mel right there. All getting our stuff done here. All right, now go climb back down. This bad boy. Jackson's having a lovely little nap. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, hello everyone. It's bottle time. Okay, so this is before bottle. I'm out my leg. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It'll get quieter as we go. Frantic. Yo! <laughs> 
our turn. Last but not least. And this is the after. Nice, calm, cute, cuddly kittens. Good job, everyone. I'm here. I'm in my Monday best. We're gonna start our first coat of Antifel. Yeah, Ryan's got some sexy outfits going on. Oh. <laughs> Haven't been at the boatyard very much. A lot of the stuff I'm not really needed for. I came and did the sand it all along the edge first couple days. And then I've been at home doing artwork, editing, blah, blah, blah. It's all boring stuff. And the weather's just starting to get hot, so it's nice. The faster we get out of here, the faster we can get back on anchor and chill out. Start cruising again. I'm still not ready to be in a bikini though. So this is like the really glamorous side of cruising. This is Ryan's good side. All right, we've just done half and uh, the sun's, sun's starting out. to go down. So Annis has just grabbed us a light. <laughs> I don't know, oh, he's put it over there. He's grabbed us a light yeah. because we're about to be painting in the dark. It's hard, we could only start when everyone stops uh, sanding and that. Are you even living your best life if you're not anti-fouling in the dark with a spotlight? You don't know what it's like. This is the life. <sighs> nice and warm. Ryan's trying to be really positive, but like there's no way of sugarcoating it. This is shit. Brittany. <laughs> oh no, I'm getting paint everywhere. Brittany's complaining. Brittany, the sacrifices. You stay in a cheap hotel room, which is actually quite amazing. Or you stay on the boat and you pay someone else to any for you in the day. How's that? No, it's not so bad. I object. This is not what I envisioned when Ryan said, hey, let's buy a sailboat and go traveling around the Mediterranean. What's the time, Brittany? <laughs> We're going back for a second coat of paint. Brittany's not happy. About five hours sleep. <laughs> That's it. Just finished Annie fouling the second coat this morning and I think the guy's probably seen what we do on Instagram or YouTube or whatever but he's just come and dropped a dog off to us and told us to keep it. Anyway we, we tried to get someone to help translate and ran back over to the guy and basically uh, I think what's happened is his brother's got a dog and I think a lot of people here their families all live together so I think like grandparents, parents, kids all kind of live in the one big house. From what I can understand the parents kicked the dog out the house and didn't want it. They put it on the street. Anyway, I guess the brother, the fisherman over here, had it on the boat there and he just came out and just gave it, told us, like, gave it to us. Anyway, here he is. Hey, buddy. You all right? You little puppy. So they kicked him out because he was howling when they, howling at night. And they said, well, he's only a little puppy. That's what they do, they howl. Anyway, they got this dog and I guess they've given up instantly. What are we gonna do with you, huh? People are mean. Okay, let's go. So we're trying to get more anti fouling because we might do another coat. But in Tunisia, things are a lot more expensive here. Like a lot more expensive. <laughs> oh, okay then. Yeah, I see. No, no, someone was telling me there was a place that sells international. Ah, oh, okay. Wasn't that? No, that's all right. I, I, I thought it was good. Almost forgot all our uh, supplies. Go get that. Thank you. Bye. So here we are. We've already been in contact with a few of the rescues, even just to see if we can find a home for him within Tunisia. But we'll see what happens. He's so cute. Jackson is drooling. Uh, He's so Jackson excited. Is that your baby? Is that your baby? Is that a little wag? Oh, 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 can you get the cat? Oh my god, it's mayhem around here. Come here, mister. It's just crazy around here. 
-hmm. Look at it, it's an absolute zoo. You probably tell people about maybe half a day. No. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. You're Sorry. moving around now. Are you happy? And then this is as happy as you've been all day, you little munchkin. <laughs> it's bad. Oh, it's bad. It's okay, you're gonna feel better soon, eh? Oh, look at that, you like that, don't you? One, two, three, oh, look at that. Oh, all right, I think we got the dog settled for the moment. I think I'm gonna go back to the boatyard. All right, let's let this, this mug back out, eh? It's okay, stay there. All right, so I'm off back to the boatyard. I'm about to buy the most expensive bloody paint you can buy in this whole bloody world right now. So you win some, you lose some. This is a time when you lose really big. <laughs> hey, you're gonna come to Tunisia, buy your paint, buy all your stuff. You can buy rollers, paint trays, acetone, uh, thinners. You can buy all that stuff here pretty cheap. Gel coat, paraffin, hardener, all that. You can buy really cheap, but other stuff like your international antifoul. I bought a five liter tin to give it one coat and then I bought a two and a half liter tin so I thought oh, I'll just patch up a few spots if I need to as well. But um, when the guys pressure washed the boat they took it, <laughs> they stripped it bare. So now I'm antifouling everything again. Oh, say hello to the camera. So it looks like we may have found this little guy a home. No, I don't need the camera. He's having fun with Jackson too, but we just cannot keep him. And I know what everybody says. Every time I post about a puppy, everybody says, oh, you're gonna keep him. No, we're not. Our boat is already full. We need a bigger one. Uh, I've just come back this morning to just do a third coat around the top edge, the rudder and the keel. Currently trying to edit, but I can't get my computer screen to turn. Oh, there it is. Hello. But look. Got baby number one. Hi, mister. Oh, it's okay. Baby number two. Ride the scooter. <laughs> no, yes. No. No, uh oh. How about that water? That's his bitch. Yeah. Just don't go in the water. Addis is scared. It's gone now, Addis. He takes the scooter, you take the boat. I think he's 16 again. So, what I'm gonna do now is put this rudder bearing back in. The glue came unstuck on here and here. I've sanded it all. I got uh, this special glue. It's just a polyurethane glue. Put some grease around here and under here, probably around the edge. We'll slide that up, we'll glue it in. Then we'll push the rudder up in place and let it set overnight. All right, soon. So we got grease in there, rudders in place. So we'll let that set now. And I just put a pin through the bracket up there. So I'll let that sit overnight, drop it, make sure it's set right. And then uh, hopefully that's done. We'll bolt it all together. This is how they bath Katush. Come on, Katush. He runs up and then he runs in the dirt and rolls in the dirt. Hey mate. Does his happy laps and he rolls in the sand. So that's how they bath him. Oh, Katush, hey. We're done, we're back, we're finished for the day. Almost done, one more day at the boatyard. Oh, you're wearing my hat! Yeah. Hey, look at them! Look at them, hey guys! Hey! Oh, 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 oh. You gonna go for it? <laughs> so we're pretty much all done. Nice. I don't think we're all done, we're all done. We just, just finished off their negotiations, are you ready? Mr. you're going. For shipyard between happy. Are you are you happy? Yeah 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 yeah. Yes. And me are you happy? <laughs> shipyard between monastery. Yeah, good teacher. There you go. Thank you very Thank much. You. Thank you. We welcome. We welcome.